Hello everyone, you may have just seen my Irem encryption video, or should I say decryption video. That's going to be in my next update. Right now I'm going to go over another addition to my next update that's going to please a lot of people. You may be familiar with the fact that there are currently three MAME 2003 cores in my core set, each of which has the ability to load specialized content that the other two are incapable of loading due to code and differentials. But I'm going to show you something very unique and interesting today, and this will make it into tomorrow's update. I'm going to show you the a brief uh, test of the decryption of a uh, Nyrim game yet again. This game right here previously played with really, really bad hissy sound like... Right now, though, it plays perfectly. And this is just one thing that's going to be in the update, but I'm going to go over the other thing in a moment here. That's running quite a bit better. Now, uh, I'll show you another thing that's going to be in the update here. In my three main variants, one was able to play data each game, such as Roga Armor Force, and Boogie Wings, and uh, several other games that previously were not running on the other cores. And this is one of them right here. Typically, you'd play this and the, en the encryption would make the game not be able to even start. And it'd be silent without sound. It would just keep re restarting in an endless boot loop. And I have to say, this has one of the best soundtracks out of any single arcade game I've ever played. So anyways, this would play on the standard MAME 2003 core in my core set. But then, if you want to play, say, a System 32 game, such as, such as Golden Axe, Revenge of Death Adder, you'd have to load an additional MAME 2003 core, which was a System 32 variant that I put together. Don't forget, winners don't use drugs. I've always been a tremendous fan of Golden Axe. I've loved them all. I used to play the hell out of it in the arcade at the movie theater. And of course, uh, when it came out on Sega Genesis, it was such an uh, amazing home port of the game. Genesis was excellent for that. And many of you know the Genesis as the Sega Mega Drive, of course. I think the Sega Mega Drive is more widely known than even the Sega Genesis as the name. One thing I thought was really interesting about this game, and I'll show you in a moment here. Right now we have the dwarf on top of my warrior, but there's something that happens within the first 30 seconds that I found very humorous. Almost something very cartoony you would typically see in like a Minions movie or such. We have me on top of the dragon and the dwarf on top of me. This is just absolutely silly, <laughs> but it works. So this is System 32. And then, of course, if you wanted to load the other MAME 2003 variant, you'd be able to play the Sega CD OST for a final fight right here. Thank you. 
And here we go, the Sega CD soundtrack with the arcade version. Speaking of which, if any of you have CloverCon installed or are using Hashi 2C, I wonder if you knew you could just hold down the attack button and the select button at the same time. And you can do this. Turbo fire. Pretty nifty. And then you just have to hold the attack button and select down again to disable it. But another thing that's interesting in this next update here, and I'm not, I didn't show the whole thing yet. There are other games that are going to work that previously did not work. I'm going to go to my MAME directory here. And this is going to be a very interesting example. It's a hack of Donkey Kong that's going to be working. If in my dummy folder, if I move up or down, I move one, you know, a, a standard speed. But if I move left or right, I move really fast. So it makes it real easy to navigate. And I have this set up identically on my Android phone. So it's very intuitive for me. But here we have Donkey Kong X, which is actually Donkey Kong 2 Jumpman Returns, a great hack. And there's one specific thing to note about this. Ignore which core I'm running this with. You're going to know something in a couple minutes here when I'm done at the end of the video. A lot of times you'll get messages like this where you have boot errors and all that. There's like a couple hundred games that have various workarounds. In this game, I just have to jump to put the start right past that error. But on MAME 2003, Donkey Kong is one of those games that needs sound samples to function properly. I am running this particular game right now without the sound sample. So you don't get to hear Donkey Kong jump noise, and you don't get to hear Mario jump noise. But I'm doing this intentionally right now. But yes, it's a nice nifty hack of Donkey Kong. And I feel that quick. And I do have a BIOS sample H mod in my core set. You can take the Donkey Kong sample. I have not tested this out yet, but theoretically this should work since it is a hack of the original Donkey Kong game. You should be able to just retitle it to D Kong X Zip. You know, make a copy of that Donkey Kong sample and install it with the samples H mod and you should be able to have your sound effects in this game. Now we're going to try another uh, game that works that didn't previously work. I'm going to load the dummy folder yet again. And here's where you're going to see something very interesting here that I didn't yet show you. Low core. I only have one single MAME 2003 core right now. I ran everything that I showed you. System 32, Final Fight, the iRoom encryption, decryption thing. All with one single MAME 2003 core. Obviously, it's not going to say Final Fight OST CPS1 core in my final release. I'm just going to make it simply MAME 2003 again. Yes, I merged the code from all three MAME 2003s into one single MAME 2003. An ultra extreme amazing MAME 2003. And I added additional code that has the encryption and such for Irem games. It all works together perfectly. But right now I'm going to do the dummy folder, should I say. And we'll do one other game that's going to work in the update. And there are more that I'm not going to show you yet, but I'll list them tomorrow. This is another game that I found very interesting. And I'm doing left and right to move really fast through the entire main set here. But there's over, literally over 100 games that will additionally work on this variant that I'm going to release tomorrow that did not work in the past. And I'm going to list as many of them as I possibly can so you guys and gals have plenty to check out. 
But here's another one right here called Riot. This did not work before. Now it does. And this is just one of many games you're going to be able to play tomorrow when I release the update. This is a very unique game. If you're a fan of games like the Operation Wolf and such, you're gonna like this game. Starts out like a, a, a typical game, like Wild Guns and such and Blood Brothers. But there's a little gimmick to it that's really unique, as you will see in a moment here. Just watching the foreground behind me. Look at that. You literally have enemies in the foreground that you can shoot at too. <laughs> it helps if I aim at them properly though. <laughs> I'm still getting used to this control scheme. But yes, you can shoot in front of you and behind you. There we go. So I'm pushing a button to change directions right now and feeling it shooting. <laughs> There we go. As you can see, this is my first time testing this game on here. This is incredibly awesome though. You can shoot behind you and in front of you. I love this stuff already. Again, a lot of my test videos, you get to see me test things for the very first time. So when I make a mistake, I just leave them in for your entertainment. And I have to say, I cannot think of a single game that I've ever played where you have enemies that are in the foreground and background. This is really cool. Again, this is called Riot. I'm definitely loving this game, and I'm going to give it a shot and play the entire game. But anyways, uh, this is going to be in the update tomorrow, and there are still other things that I did not reveal yet that will also be in the update. So hope you enjoyed this video, and now you're going to have just one single MAME 2003 core to rule them all. No pun intended.